Let's talk Tanya for the second day of the first other. The larger topic over here is the topic of negative emotions and how to avoid them. And in yesterday's Tanya, we spoke about negative emotions that result from the hardships and difficulties in life. We also spoke about guilt. Today, we're going to move on to a different negative emotion, which is shame. Now, shame and guilt, they might sound like they're interchangeable. They might sound like they're synonyms, but they're very different one from another. Guilt is, I did something bad. Shame is, I am bad. There's something wrong with me. And that's the feeling that we have when um, we think about ourselves and we think about our different character flaws, our temptations, our desires, our anger management issues, our pettiness, our, sel our selfishness, our lack of spiritual sensitivity, whatever it is that when we look in the mirror and the image that looks back at us, I'm not talking physically, we're like, really? I'm not happy with that. Not about what we've done, but about who we are. And the shame or a feeling of inadequacy or low self-worth can also lead to frustration because here I am and I have these character flaws and I've been fighting with them my entire life and I don't seem to be making any significant headway at all. And that's a very frustrating experience. So both the shame and the frustration, these are negative emotions which we have to get rid of because we need to serve God with joy. So the main idea is that as opposed to guilt, which we spoke about yesterday, which guilt, when done correctly and properly, is legitimate, shame is never legitimate for reasons that will become clearer as we continue in this chapter. But ultimately, feelings of shame are never legitimate. These are feelings that always have to be thrown away if and when we feel them. Now, sometimes we do something wrong and we feel a combination of guilt and shame. I feel guilty about what I did, and I feel ashamed about who I am, in which case we need, to do, we need to do a surgery over here, and the guilt is appropriate, and we need to deal with it, as the Alter Rebbe explained in the previous chapter we spoke yesterday. Uh, we need to designate a time when to deal with it, and the shame needs to be thrown into the garbage. But how do we throw the shame and the frustration into the garbage? So the Alter Rebbe is going to give us a number of perspectives in this, in this chapter, a very powerful chapter, at least... Uh, in my experience, and the first one that the Rebbe says is, there's a verse that says, which means, do not stray after your hearts and after your eyes, after which you tend to stray. In other words, the Torah is acknowledging that we, we have hearts that tend to stray, and there's a mitzvah in the Torah that says, don't stray after them. When you have the temptation, when you have a desire to do something wrong, and that that temptation, that desire comes from the fact that internally you're not so spiritual, you're not so holy, and you have your character flaws. The Torah tells us, but don't act upon them. And every single time we don't act upon one of these temptations, we are actually doing a mitzvah. In fact, our sages tell us that if a person sits and abstains from doing a sin, he receives reward as if he has done a mitzvah. Now, obviously, that means that when you are in a position to do a sin and you have the temptation and you abstain from it, it's as if you've done a mitzvah. So think about it for a second. These character flaws that you have, which you find so unattractive and you wish you can get rid of them, but can you reframe them and realize that what they actually are are mitzvah opportunities? Because every single time one of these character flaws flares its ugly head and because of it you have a desire to do something which is inappropriate, and you don't, you've done a mitzvah. Why would you be upset over having a mitzvah opportunity? Talk about a reframe. Instead of something which is a negative thing, all of these are is opportunities to be able to do a mitzvah. Okay, that is step one in how to uh, eliminate our shame over our character defects, but we have a ways to go, and we'll continue, God willing, in tomorrow's Tanya.